Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about Alfresco in Confluence. So this is Confluence 5 and over here we have Alfresco and you can see within Alfresco a structure of, of um, directories, user home, David and a load of folders here. What we're going to do in Confluence is embed something out of those folders into a new page. So I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call that page Alfresco Macros. So let's add an Alfresco file into this page. So let's go into the user homes. I'm going to go into David and we're going to select this one, propose navigation systems dot doc. Now this is this data is coming from within Alfresco here. So this is the same file. Um, I'm going to select that, um, insert it into the page, and we save that. And here it is. It's it's shown within the page there, and we can have a look at it in fresco, our fresco as well. Um, somehow. Let's have a look at it over here. Oh, that's downloaded it. And here it is in Alfres out of Alfresco. So we've just downloaded it and opened it up in text edit. Um, another thing we can do is show an Alfresco folder. So if we go and have a look at the list, a list, we can edit this and select a particular folder that we want. So why don't we go and have a look at the David folder, see what's in there. Yep. I'll we'll have this one, call it David's folder. Save that. <coughs> and again, there's the file, that file, and here's my folder and you can go in and have a look and navigate within subfolders. You can do things like download it or edit it in Office or you can have a preview. So this preview does pretty much the same as the embed macro did. And there you go. That's a very, very quick um, introduction to Alfresco and Confluence. Thanks.